Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 179. Yeah. My name is Rob Hoback. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, we're happy you're here. We're honored if you came back, which most of you do. And we'd be humbled if, like, you told a friend and a new one came in. And I think we have a new uh, person that's going to join us from time to time. The CFO. We talked about him last Saturday. We'll get back to him in a minute. First things first, I'm still the realist. I'm still here. I cried last Saturday. That was real, right? Like, I tell you what's going on in my life for real, right? So that's why I say I'm the realist. I am the realist. Plus, it reminds me of that song that I love. All right. Uh, I'm also confident. My I am's, right? What am I talking about? Well, uh, you know, the, the more, the further we go along in daily discipline, the more my confidence grows. And that's because I challenge myself to take action when I think of things. Uh, I've reconnected with some people from my past that have just been good for my soul, right? People that know me, people that get me, people that are engaged with me, not because they want something from me. It's because they love me, right? Like the CFO, and I love you too, and many others, right? Many others. So anyway, let's get to work. It's a savage Saturday. It's going to be cold and rainy here in Northeast Oklahoma. That's cool. Um, I got things. I, I'm going to go get the kids here in a couple minutes. It's daddy duty weekend with them. That's going to be fun. And um, so today, because it's Saturday, we're going to do a weekend review and say, all right, what, what drove to the increase in confidence this week? So let's talk about last Saturday, right? Last Saturday, I reconnected uh, verbally, had an hour long conversation with the CFO. I talked about it last Sunday. It was awesome, right? Couldn't stop thinking about all these questions because it took me back to that meeting, you know, high talented people, and they sat me right next to the CFO. Like, there was no, when I found out that this dude was the CFO now of a big company, um, I wasn't shocked. As a matter of fact, I, I was more shocked that he was interested in my life and more shocked that he wanted to engage with me. But that's just my own head trash, right? That's all that is. So being around that guy and just hearing his opinions and, you know, just having those conversations boosted my confidence. Um, we talked about the Humboldt tragedy a year ago. And I know I love on the people that I love. There's no doubt in my mind. Like I don't think that there's anybody who watches this that doesn't know that I love them. Right. And if I don't, then, you know, maybe that's an exaggeration. I don't know. If I love you, I think you know I love you, right? Because I probably tell you often. And if I don't, hit me up. Man, I'm sorry. So um, <clears throat> know your role. Ooh, we talked about the uh, who's the boss around here. Remember that one? You know, that I just got my ass handed to me for things that were not my fault, that were the responsibility of people in positions superior to me that are just kind of mailing it in. And uh, so I used to take that stuff personal, right? Now I can say to myself, it's just business, Rob. And if they're going to treat you like that, gloves are off, baby. Let's go get it. Um, what else? We, talk? we talked about being better together, about having people to fill in our gaps. We talked about being mentally strong with the Virginia uh, Cavaliers who came back a year worth of adversity, a year worth of embarrassment. But they persevere. And I asked, do you have what that takes? And the answer is yes, we all do. So, I would tell you my confidence is based off of several things. Daily discipline, get my head right, right? All starts up here. We all know that, right? But it's hard to do it. So that's number one. Number two is that I've surrounded myself with my people, right? Number three, just ask the tough questions. Look around, be like, that looks weird. What is that? And then the other thing is, again, for me, is that I quit taking stuff personal that wasn't directed at me. A lot of those insults were directed at the company that I work with. It's not my company. It's not Rob Hoback, Inc. This is Rob Hoback, Inc. That ain't, right? If I was in charge of that, some of that shit wouldn't happen. But I'm not, right? So I need to stay in my lane, do my thing, and not let that stuff affect my head trash, right? Or give me head trash. And then, um, you know, the last thing I just tell you is that I, I, I'm, I'm super busy at work right now. And this is a result of, you go back 180 days ago, you know, in the gutter, you know, it, it, emotionally, couldn't get out of my own way, just upset, pissed off, angry, not like that anymore, right? And how do we get through it? Just like this, right? So 
if after six months of doing this, this is the big change. Can you imagine where it's going to be six months from now? It's going to be awesome. And guess what else is going to happen? We're going to be here every day talking about it. So with that, I got things to do. I know you do too. Welcome back, CFO. I missed you, bro. And to all the rest of you, thank you for continuing to join. We're going to do this together, right? You're going to watch. Hopefully, you're applying. I know some of you are applying this to your lives. We are better together. Hands up. Peace out. Better together. Let's do this. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.